those years living the life of someone I didn't even know. Christian Bale stars in Night of Cups from reclusive director Terence Malick. The actor plays a shallow screenwriter lost in Hollywood life. I find it to be an absolute sort of ode to Los Angeles, you know. Yes, there's the ugliness, yes, there's the ugly people, there's the ugly architecture, but there's the beautiful nature, and there's some incredibly sincere people who you find here and there, you know, and with every, it doesn't have to be LA. Um, there's experiences like this in jobs, or in a relationship, where we all get lost at some point. It's part of the point of life. We don't have time for having really substantial friends Lots of them, you know, you only have time for very few who, who actually can, 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 can affect your life in that way. You have love in you. The stars were given no script or storyline for the movie, improvising for hours on end with only inspirational quotes to go on. People have been saying, like, I didn't get it. Like, there's nothing to get. There's nothing, there's no story, there's no... Nothing that Terence was like, this is what this movie is, and I hope people understand that. It is the feeling of the whole piece rather than the complete understanding, and like we were saying, more akin to a song or a book where people interact much more and create their own images rather than your usual uh, film. This is a very different kind of a film experience. It definitely exists as its own thing for each individual person. And for you, that might have just been a, a series of beautiful visuals that triggered some emotional experience or a reaction from you. But it's different for everyone, and that's why it's so unique. I mean, you don't see movies like this every day. Remember.